guys, what's up? Nice of America has just very recently announced that they're going to localize Trails of Cold Steel 3 to the PS4. Oh yeah, that's some great news that I just wanted to share with everybody, even though I'm pretty sure most of its fans are already aware of that news. So, The Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel, that is a big name nowadays. In my opinion, it's a series that is mainstream, maybe not as mainstream as Final Fantasy, or maybe The Witcher, or Dragon Age, or whatever, but it is starting to become more and more popular every single year. More and more fans, more and more YouTubers talking about that series, and more people just talking about Falcom. Nihon Falcom. That is the company who created these games, this series. And for those who don't know, that is some really legendary franchise, legendary video game developers that started back in 1984 with a game called Dragon Slayer. It never came out of Japan, it was for, for PCs back then. 1984, and this Dragon Slayer game could be considered as the king of action RPGs. That's right, that's correct. This is Nihon Falcon we're talking about, and I am so glad such a legendary company and at the same time such an underrated company will finally, it's, it's finally starting to have some real success. Because I'm a big fan of Falcom, I have been a fan of Falcom for the past six years or so, seven years, ever, ever since I started playing East 7 for the PSP and also the Legend of Heroes series for the PSP. First the Gagar trilogy, which is a little underrated as well in my opinion, and then the already popular Trails in the Sky. Trails of Cold Steel. Trails of Cold Steel. This was a new series based on the same universe as Trails in the Sky and it was released for the PS3 and the PS Vita in Japan in 2013. But then, famous company Xseed, which is one of my favorite publishers, actually, it's one of my favorite RPG publishers, they decided to localize the game in 2015 on the same consoles, PlayStation 3 and PlayStation Vita. And then, a worldwide version for PC. Now, the same thing happened the next year in 2014, Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky 2, the sequel, also for the same consoles and also worldwide for PC. That was a great achievement for Xseed because back then almost nobody knew this series, it was really underrated and all people knew was just Trails in the Sky, so people were already wondering is this connected to Trails in the Sky, is it not? And as soon as people started playing these Trails of Cold Steel games, it became immediately popular. I mean, over the past few years, it has increased its popularity. More and more fans, like I said at the beginning, and it's nowadays a tetralogy that I think everyone should play. Me, I have personally only played the first one, and it is a great game. It starts, I mean, this is a story divided in four parts, and we see these characters grow up from military students to full-fledged um, fighters or warriors. So yeah, Tricks of Cold Steel has already made a name for itself. We got the first two games, and as soon as Trails of Cold Steel 3 was released for the PS4 only in Japan, we were all bombed. We were not happy with this decision. It was a Japan exclusive game, and since we all of us were already in love with the Trail series and specifically the Threads of Cold Steel fans were already in love with those two games, they wanted the third part to be localized. But time went on and no news happened and nothing happened and people were starting to get pissed off and a couple of days ago, Falcom and Nice answered to their questions. Nice of America said, we'll do it, we'll localize the third game in the series and maybe, they didn't say this, but Maybe someday, sometime in the future, maybe next year, they will finally localize the fourth and final game in the Trails of Cold Steel series. That will be amazing. 
I imagine they're doing this because, first of all, they are very aware of the worldwide success of the series, of the Trails of Cold Steel games in particular. And recently as well, they ported the first two games for the PS4 and were released on physical editions uh, in Europe and North America. So, all of us were like, this is great, this is great news, maybe they will localize the third game will be one day. Well, that day came pretty fast, <laughs> fortunately pretty, pretty fast, and just a couple of weeks after this uh, worldwide release for the PS4 of the first two games, Miss of America said, do it! I think it was a little too soon, they just announced it a couple of days ago, like I said, but the release day is going to be until fall this very same year, maybe specifically until November, and I think we're still in January, why until November? I'm not sure I like that, maybe I think it's a little too soon to, to make this kind of announcement, or if you're gonna make an announcement like this, why not just localize the game earlier? I mean, as far as I'm concerned, there's already, people can already uh, do a pre-order of the standard and special editions. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't know why they're doing this. I think it's a little early to be announcing this, or maybe it's a little, uh, the, the, the day, the release date is so far away that it concerns me, but maybe they want to build up the hype for it when they finally release it. Maybe they will release it in September. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure I like this, but the fact that they're localizing that game in English is reason enough to be happy. Like seriously, this is a pretty mainstream series already, very successful nowadays, and it needs more success. It needs to be more mainstream to be able to compete with the big names out there because it really deserves it. The Legend of Hero series is just big enough to be an excellent competitor to all of those big names on JRPGs out there. So I'm excited about this. I don't know how you guys feel. Let me know in the comment section below how do you feel. Uh, me personally, I believe that if this works out, if sales reach their expectations of Nice of America and Falcom, I'm pretty sure they're, they're going to localize the, the fourth game, the final game, next year. Maybe. Maybe. Let's keep our hopes up. That's it guys, share in the comment section below what do you think, are you a fan of the Legend of Hero series, are you a fan specifically of the Trails in Cold Steel series, or the Trail series in particular, in general, and um, if you're as excited as I am for this news, let me know in the comment section, let me know. That's it guys, thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and share this video and this great news with your friends. See you next time!